One of the biggest and best weekends on the rugby calendar is heading our way with the Hong Kong Sevens. The Classic Wallabies are going to be in action as well. It should be on everyone's rugby bucket list. And already, Sean Maloney and Stephen Hoyles are going bonkers in honkers. Yep, spot on as always, Nick. This place is absolutely buzzing already tonight. We are coming to you from the deck of the Kerry Hotel. Halsey, how good is Hong Kong? Oh, it's fantastic. I'd much rather be here than sitting on the lounge with you there, Nick. But uh, look, Hong Kong's been a busy couple of days for us. We've got the classic Wallabies playing in Hong Kong 10s. Obviously, the Hong Kong 7s follows that. You've been busy, though, through the week, out to some local schools and clubs. Yeah, down to Discovery Bay, work with the local team down there. Oh, the Pirates. The Mighty Pirates, yeah, that was a busy couple of days, but it's been fun. And the kids oh, look like they got a huge kick out of that. Well, that's the plan, getting uh, you know, Wallabies out and about and meeting the, the heroes of yesteryear. Yeah. And it's an all-star lineup that you have assembled for the Hong Kong Tens, and I caught up with some of the big names a little earlier. We've been talking about who's going to carry the team. Uh, and judging by the amount of weight that a few of us are carrying, it's certainly not going to be the classic generation. Uh, we've been lucky enough to recruit some young boys as well. What have you done in rugby to make you ready for this tournament? Oh, I've had a fair bit of experience. I played Rats fifth grade last week, so I'm 20 minutes a half, so I'm, I think I'm ready to go. Let's go through a quick rugby checklist. What's a rolling mall? Um, when guys go like that and it's moving. For you, who do you think will be the biggest flop in this uh, class of Wallabies outfit? It's probably definitely Wendell. For me, it's like, it's, if I'm being serious, he'd be filthy, but it's probably Wendell. And Morgs, how many minutes are you looking at banking for this tournament? Put it this way, I'd say I'll be calculating in seconds, not minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is it's synthetic as well, so I'm more worried about the burns and things than, than the fitness. That's, uh, that's got me mentally as well. Who do you think is going to struggle the most in this outfit? I think probably the only person in worse shape than me is Wendell Saylor. Like, he, the thing is, he'd always loved a burger and a Coke, but now he's doing the burger and a Coke without the training, and he's, he makes me look all right, so I stand next to him all the time. Well, Halsey, good luck with that. Might need it, Sean. Indeed you will. Okay, guys, we're going to package up all the highlights from the Hong Kong 10s, and that'll all out on Friday's restart. We'll see you then. Thank you, Shawnee. Thank you, Stephen. Yes, of course, the restart on Friday night. And, in fact, you can catch the action from Hong Kong right across the weekend, live and exclusive on Fox Sports. Steve Menzies, the description of the Rolling Mall. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Was that a test tube that Halsey was yes. drinking? Yes. Why would you drink that? Science experiment. Yeah. Oh, so, OK. That was no bar. Hong Kong science experiment. That was a science lab. <laughs>